where the lab is at you. Don't you worry about them boards. I use good solid lumber. Martha said the blight had spread even further south, pushing yet more monsters down with it. I dare say we'll be seeing a few along the way. Then we shall have to keep our wits about us. Excuse me, I'll use that blade of yours. Oh, curse my luck, I branded. No time to haggle with whoever holds your leash. Wait, that's the slumbering chocobo you're wearing. You in the Marfers, are you? Good. She won't begrudge me the use of you then. Not while there's wolves about. We tried dealing with them ourselves. Made out bait, think we might swoop in and slaughter a lot. But we didn't expect the pack to be quite so bloody big. I expect the Blight drove them here. They must have fled their homes for greener pastures. Well, we'd hoped empty bellies might make them easy prey. We'd made them mean instead. Martha's no fool, so she must see something in you. Do us a favor, and get rid of them, will you? All right. I suppose those wolves pose a threat to everyone. Aye, that's what I'm talking about! I'd wager the greedy bastards are still over yonder, finishing off our bait. When you've seen to every last one of them, go and speak to my friend over the bridge. 
Bryce his name is. Who wanna know if it's safe to come across? Alright, off you go then. It to you. Your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves, so I got rid of the wolves. You'd have me believe a single bearer slew the entire pack. Then again, if you didn't, you wouldn't be on this side of the bridge. Bugger me, you're a tough one, aren't you? <laughs> oh, Frederick! You oily bastard. I never thought to pit beast against beast like that. You served us well, bearer. Be sure to pass our thanks to your master.
Look, the windmills. That must be Eastpool. I remember coming here with Lord Murdoch when I was young. Those areas seemed a very different place back then. Quiet, isn't it? Yes. You! You're Clive Rossfield! It's me! Hannah! Rodney Murdoch's wife! Lady Hannah! Oh, I knew it was you! You haven't changed at all! The Lord Marquis and Jill, too! It's so good to see you both again! <gasps> it's good to see you too, Lady Hannah. <gasps> if you have time, you simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. We should be delighted. And you have been wandering the world ever since. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes, but oh, to take to the road at such a tender age, It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. Do you think you will stay here, in Eastpool? Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing. Does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. Or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes here. Yes. Of course. Oh, forgive me. I... I didn't mean to... Oh. Please. There is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Ah. Oh. You haven't heard, then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. I... I'm sorry. Clive. My poor child. You look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. Hmm? Uh, 
Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. Thirteen years of killing. Thirteen years without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. If it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. <laughs> when I fought, hundreds died. There were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. I'm sorry. Do you remember that night on the balcony, when we looked up at the moon? I said a prayer to Metia, and that prayer was answered. You came back to me. The heavens must have a plan for us. We should get some rest. Right. Good night, Clive. Sleep well. Thank you, Lady Anna. Perhaps now people will not flee at the sight of me. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? Oh, before Elwyn became Archduke, our families would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Well, I'm very grateful for them. And sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. They suit you well. <laughs> thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes, thank you. You've been most kind. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. Fare you well, my lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah.